What's up? What a crypto muscle. I'm to you with another YouTube video. And so here we are. I just wanted to give you guys the latest in the fake news. All right, fake news. Because everybody thinks that every time I talk about these things, uh, they say, oh, it's fake news. It's fake. Even though I provide information and facts and all that. And everything that's really going on. It's, it's just truly what's happening. People still wanted to think it's fake because they're, they're naive. They're stupid. And just because I bring some polarizing information, they, they can't handle the truth. So they try to just call it fake news. But anyhow, here is the real <laughs> news here. And uh, let's start with Novatech. All right, so Novatech, all right, um, after that announcement from, uh, not really straight from Cynthia, but just from admins and stuff that are within Novatech. You know, when we read that letter revealed about what's going on next 60 days, about Novatech, um, you know, they're not going to do the trading account withdrawals. They're going to do bonus account withdrawals, but not trading account. And they're going to not, they're going to hold off to it uh, until April 1st, which is April Fool's Day. And the joke is going to be on you guys when April 1st comes around. And then there's going to be some excuse that, oh, we can't do it now because trading account withdrawals or whatever. They're, they're going to come up with some excuse again. All right, to prolong it even further than what's been happening. And it's just going to be another way of them spinning circles around you once again. Wee, wee, wee. And then you guys are going to be stuck spinning circles again. And I'm just going to say, I told you so. So here's the prediction, all right? April 1st comes around. The joke's on you, all right? Because April Fool's Day, the joke's on you. Trading account will not be withdrawn. They're going to freeze in some way. I mean, this is already the beginning of this sort of slowdown to a trickle. And that's what's going to happen here. First with the BAs, they're going to come up with excuse about how uh, TAs are not going to come out again. And then they're going to trickle out the BAs, right? They're going to draw it out longer. Because, uh, you know, if you watch my last video about Novatech, you know, the the way they're kind of blaming people that, oh, all these trading account withdrawals is what's holding things up. But they weren't even entertaining trading account withdrawals in the first place. But anyhow, uh, I just wanted to just put that out there. That, yeah, April 1st comes, you're going to see. And on top of that, uh, bonus account withdrawals supposedly are supposed to become faster now that now that TAs are, you know, paused. But yet, it's not become any faster. And so, you know, the, as the days go by, you're going to have more and more bonus account withdrawals stacking up because you're not paying it out fast enough. And I thought it was supposed to be faster. But watch, we'll see in time. It's going to get slower and slower. All right, mark this video, and uh, you'll see when, he, oh, yeah, Crypto Muscle said he, he said that before. Come on, people. I've seen it all, all right? So wake up. Uh, here's a little offshoot here. Just wanted to throw in as part of this video. I'm, I'm going to talk about CMB also today, too, uh, real quick. So here's a little offshoot, all right? So Impulse X, I think it's offline right now. I don't know if it's still online or offline. I think Impulse X is offline. All right, so Impulse X was an offshoot of this Polaris group. All right, they don't even have their site up anymore. And they're supposed to be migrating over to this Wee Wee Global place. And it's been like, since February now, it's got to have been at least four or five months now. And all they, all they could say is, uh, just wait while we migrate the information over from this garbage piece of shit Impulse X site. Right, pulse, you know, pulse X passive, and uh, you'll be migrated over here. <laughs> yeah, so here's here's another way of spinning circles again too. Wee wee wee. You're spin, you're spun in circles. Impulse X is dead. That's why the site's not up. And supposedly they're migrating everybody over to this wee wee global garbage, and it's not happening because it wouldn't take this amount of time to migrate everybody over. I mean, how hard can it be? And so your boy Mark over there, who ran <laughs> ran down Elevate Pass, has ran out Impulse X into Wee Wee. But you dummies out there won't realize that until he completely disappears, which he hasn't, because he's still present within the Eureka group here. All right, speaking up for uh, what's his name, Darren Bradbury. Darren Bradbury is a terrible CEO. He supposedly said that he's gonna come out with a video in the upcoming days. 
to talk about what's going on. And I'm going to say he's not going to show his face. And it's going to be some guy, somebody's going to be claiming to be Darren Bradbury. And uh, you're going to see, watch, he's not going to show his face. I'm telling you, after all this time of not doing videos for the last couple of years, like he used to, to all of a sudden do a video now to talk about the progress of Polaris Universal and their garbage group, you're going to see that when if he does come out of the video, I'm going to say if because he's saying he will, but I doubt it. But if he does come out of the video, he's not going to show his face, all right? Because it's going to be some guy claiming to be Darren Bradbury. Because the guy in the Telegram group that used to be Darren Bradbury is not there anymore. And the guy that pops up now doesn't show a picture of his face. He doesn't claim to be Darren Bradbury, but just the official Telegram group person. And he said, oh, I'm Darren. How about this? Uh, you're not. <laughs> and uh, you're going to see people. All right, watch and learn and, and see when this time comes. So that's that. What else we got going on here? Oh, yeah, this garbage here, Fusion Experience. Uh, yeah, they said they're getting there. They're getting close. Let me see here. If I could find um, what's the latest on this one here. Man, you know, these, these guys are... I don't know why you guys don't realize it from the get-go. I saw it from the very beginning, man. When things were so bad, I was like, man, you guys can't stick this out you guys gotta just get out of this shit but some of you guys are idiots and still trying to ride on this so you know they're still trying to do kyc dollar verification fees and all that stuff they're still having issues with them that oh they say if you have any issues contact the dev uh, contact them and the devs will take care of it so they keep going on with this sea of optimism but they suck and um on that many times you're gonna have to you know, really see through the garbage, but I guess if you want to keep dealing with it, then you'll see how bad this is, all right, and they're not going to, they're not giving you your full daily payouts, as you will see, they're really just going to tell you that, hey, uh, you know, you're getting 40% of 1%, right, think about that, 40% of your daily trade, you're not getting the full daily trade uh, profit, so keep that in mind, all right, and uh, yeah, the window of uh, withdrawal has opened up to um, a little, what is it, four hour? Uh, no, I'm sorry, a one hour now. It used to be 20 minutes, so they opened it up to one hour, which is good, I guess. But still, aside from that, you got to re-verify for a dollar again. You got to do all this crap, like I mentioned. It's just, it's just stupid, all right? And uh, it's just a way for them to take more out of you again, even though it's only one dollar. But think about it: if you got a lot of people sign up for a dollar, that's a lot of money that's still going into the platform or into this uh, business, I guess you could say, this bot. All right. And KYC, you're giving them your information. All right, <laughs> that's on you. And uh, now they got your information; they can do what they want to do with it. Just like any of these other places that ask for KYC, they're going to do what they want to do with it. And so you'll see in time. And, uh, and, and in time, that fusion is just terrible, all right? They've been supposed they, – they delayed their launch, all right, to rush it. And when they rushed it, they've been going through all these problems ever since. So this has been a couple months now full of problems, all right? That's why it's offline, trying to launch this whole 2.0. Look, upgrade complete. Yay, yay, upgrade complete. But yet, it's still garbage. So, um, moving on to now, let's take a look at, so, uh, coin market bull, right? I'm still coin, you know, crypto muscle bullish about it. So let me go over here, right? With this, I'm crypto muscle bullish about this, all right? Uh, just because my boy, Jan, what's up, Jan? Jan's been busy, you know, because, you know, he's been, uh, styling, profiling all across Asia, you know, you know, talking about Coin Market Bull and Max Preed, right? Watch my Max Preed video. You're gonna see that he's been showing up, uh, hanging out with Max Preed too. Let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, he's been hanging out with Max Preed over here. You know, because he's styling, profiling. That's what it's all about. To, you know, it's all about the opportunity. There he is, right? My boy, Jan, doing his shit. That's right. So, with that though, you know, I've been I'm on the phone with him every day. 
you know, and he's, you know, he's stressing out about this whole situation with coin market bull right now, you know, it's being offline and, um, you know, being me and him, you know, we we're alike and it's some, something, not everything. Like I don't like his style though. He sucks in the style, but, uh, the thing about it is that, you know, he makes money, right? And we, me and him, you know, when it comes to Facebook, we have over 300 friends on Facebook. And so, you know, we have a lot of connections. And so we have that connection of making money. And uh, that's why Jan, he's stressing though. You know, he, we, we, we talk on the phone every day, you know, how much he's stressing with this whole thing right now because cyber attacks hit CMB. So they're trying to create a fix on this server. You know, they reported the server and, uh, you know, try to do all this bullshit stuff to take this coin market bull down. But Jan said, no way, man. You know, and remember, he's not the CEO of this platform. The, the people that are running it are working on it. Jan is just the global leader and corporate brand manager. Remember that, all right? He's not the CEO. He doesn't run this thing. But he's stressing, though, because he wants this thing to succeed. And the management of CMB has been on top of things trying to work this whole thing out. Uh, I know that the timelines have been off, but um, it's all good, though, you know, because they said 24 to 48 hours back on the 5th, and, um, you know, today is the 7th, so it's well beyond that. But, hey, he said we're getting closer, but he said that yesterday. But it's all good, though. Just don't log in, all right? And speaking of which, I mean, you know, when it comes to coin market bull, how about some bullshit out there I see in this space, all right? Namely, Marcos, all right? So... I'm calling him out all the time because you know why? He's so full of shit, all right? So how can an overnight he has 2,000 subs and all of a sudden become 5,000, what, 600 now and growing, right? And dude, you're not fooling nobody, dude, all right? You you, you cannot, you, you won't grow that many overnight and yet your videos don't change in terms of how many views have gotten viewed and all that. So, you know, that's how fake you are because you got to buy your subs to uh, try to pump you up. But you're so full of shit, all right? And uh, this whole compounding challenge that they do, this whole compounding thing that they do, you know, put in $1,000 and become $60,000 and, uh, uh, you know, in a year, you know, it's a, it's a way for them to make the money, all right? I'm sorry, Jan. I mean, I, I got to just let the cat out of the bag a little bit here. All right, I know you're my boy, but still, I got to let the cat out of the bag. Your boy, your other piece of shit, Marcos over there, you know, he's trying to really rub it into the people, you know, talking about, you know, if you really want to make money, you got to put in $1,000, right? You know, and then you, and then on top of that, compound everything. If you want to make it $60,000 in a year, you compound it all for the year. Then it can become $60,000. But you know what? I'm not that kind of person. You know, that, you know, the, the thing I am about it is that as good as it sounds, I've seen so many platforms over the years go down and they don't see a cent come out of it because they just sat there and compound, compound, compound to the, to the outer space. And then they don't see it because all of a sudden it's all gone. So, you know, take it from me. I've seen it all and I drove one YouTube out of crypto land because I've, because he, he's really shown how shitty he was when he compounded thinking he was going to get $100,000 and yet he got nothing out of it. And that, that's what happened. And so the bottom line is that, you know, compound is okay to a certain degree, but if you're going to compound everything for the whole year, good luck with that because it's, it's, it's rough. All right. And I'm just trying to send a wake up call with that. That is rough. And that, uh, you know, don't be fooled by, you know, the douchebags like Marcos. He's just, he's, he's such a piece of shit that, you know, you got to see it through because, you know, oh, if you really want to make money, you, you got to put in a thousand dollars. Get out of here with that shit. All you're trying to do is just, you know, you know, line your pockets even more. So get out of here with that shit. All right. I know, I know I'm sorry. I'm raining down on Jan's parade, but hey, buddy, you know what? We're going to bring this back, all right? We're going to, you know, Coin Market Bull will be back up and running, and we're going to continue on. So I just wanted to send that message out, that that douchebag out there, you know, we got to put, we got to rein them in, all right? 
Comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.